I used to work in a hostel also when we just moved to Iceland. There was many moms having coffee in this in the cafe area at the hostel, and there was like a little uh, like porch, and there was always babies sleeping outside in the proms, and the parents were nowhere to be found. <laughs> so I was sitting in the reception, and many people came in like tourists who lived there, and they were just very shocked and almost upset that there was a a baby all alone in a prom outside, and there was nobody looking after this child. And it was just sleeping there, and somebody just left their baby outside. Anybody could take it. Being a neighborhood coffee, of course, people from the neighborhood come here a lot. We like people to walk here, not drive here. And like we do in Iceland often, we, the strollers are put here in the windows, where the kids can sleep outside, and the mom comes in, have a nice cup of coffee, and a good chat with a good friend. I, I know people think that's strange. Um, Kids usually sleep really well outside, they are bubbled up, they are really warm, <laughs> they're not bent like people do think sometimes. This is a down bag uh, for the proms when the babies are sleeping outside. And it's just feathers, like swan feathers, breathable, but it keeps the heat inside. It used to originate from, from the fact that there were no trees at all in Iceland. So everything was built out of dirt basically. All the houses. So with the kitchen and the, the sheep and the cows and everything packed together in a tiny hut. So the air inside was, was pretty nasty so that's why people let their infants sleep outside to get more healthy air. The kindergarten here is really, you know, always doing things the same way. Every morning they eat together, they sit at the same spots. And then the kid comes in and they like, yeah, I know this, I sit here and he sits here and we eat together and then I have an option later, what I want to do. And then they give them a really grounded self-esteem. And which is, you know, also something that they, they think a little bit further about, about, the, about the inner person and about the who am I. And the kids get to know themselves and that they have a choice in life from an early stage. You know, so it's really, it's really nice. I've, I've heard people say they're kind of surprised to see children running around like all day. Yeah, well, people, course, people just yes, uh, yes, go yes. to work and you know they let their kids like not until they're five, six, something. Yeah. Uh, if it's not school, and then they just run around and do whatever they want, and then they just, then you can hear like the parents shout like dinner or something out the window. <laughs> yeah. See everyone come home That's running. That's how I was raised. Yeah. In, uh, up north in Akureyri, we just, I was pretty much on my own during the day after school. That's sort of how it is in Reykjavik still, I mean, compared to other countries. Children are very safe in Iceland, so you don't really see uh, people worrying about, like, security worries that you would have elsewhere. Yeah. And they play around the harbor and around the seaside, and they are climbing rocks and, you know, <laughs> doing all kind of shenanigans. It, it works. I don't know. You, you know, it, it just works. They they take care of themselves. Yeah. If if they're told strictly where they are allowed to go and where they are not allowed to yeah. go, of course. And also, and they respect that. Yeah. They understand that there's you know some some places are really dangerous. Some places are okay. If but they, there's not really a culture of fear, like you can see no. from the American media, of course. Uh, and I know it's not like that everywhere, but you can really sense the change once you once you go there and. Our children are not allowed to uh, come home from school on their own. Yeah. And that's like, wow, that's yeah. different. I think, uh, especially for Americans, our views on breastfeeding may be like pretty liberal. You can breastfeed wherever you want, whenever you want, and nobody bothers. It's, it's like such a natural thing and, and just a part of who we are as human beings, so nobody, nobody cares. And the, yeah, the only time I've ever heard any complaints has been uh, like foreigners coming to Iceland and just being shocked. Like, wow, I can see her boobs. <laughs> What well, I notice mostly is that uh, the fact that parenthood doesn't signify the end of your career, that that is perhaps one of the most 
actually progressive points here, and that, that it also provided a very much a liberating uh, mindset, I think, towards parenthood and towards entering into relationships. Many people asking me after the move here, why are you in Iceland? It's so small. You like you used to, you used to be in New York, and you used to be in London, and you used to be, live in Stockholm, and like major cities. Why are you now stuck in Iceland? And I, I tell everybody the same story. It's, there's no other place in the world I would love my daughter to be brought up in. Like everything around this is just so fantastic. It's just so amazing.